Hi, my name is Gwen Amis from Expo, and today I'm going to present the Max Tester 945. So the 945 has been developed to replace the 930 and we've improved the way we've, we do the referencing. The speed of test also has been improved. So today I'm going to show you how to use and run a reference. You're going to see it's a step-by-step -step process. We don't need to do the optical return loss reference anymore because we have a, a reference, an inside reference inside the unit. So I'm going to show you right away how to perform a, a test starting with a reference. So the reference process, I'm going to start, uh, as you can see on screen, we have fast test, simplex, duplex for single mode and duplex for multi-mode. So we're going to start with a fast test, single mode there. So you have to select it and we're going to set a new reference. So we have different choices, side-by-side uh, -side reference, loop back. So usually the side-by-side -side will be done when we are uh, testing short distances and loop back mode will be done when you test long distances where you don't have the two units on, on the same site. So starting with a side-by-side, -side, uh, as you can see, it's a step-by-step -step process script. Um, you can select either uh, if you are using reference grade test cords or regular test cords. So today I'm going to use reference grade test cords, which is in fact better for in terms of uh, uh, uncertainty, accuracy and so on. So I'm going to test side by side. I'm going to press next here. And then we have three different choices here. The new X4 one test cord methodology, something we've developed to in fact uh, test with only one patch cord without having to remove one of the connection like we have uh, in the two test cord methodology or two uh, connections like this. So uh, I'm going to explain that and there is a very nice app note that we wrote that could be found on the, uh, on the website as well. So let's start with the uh, one test cord there. So as you would see, it's a, it's a kind of a video that we display on screen and you just have to connect the patch cord the way the unit is asking. So I'm going to disconnect remove the cap here and as you can see there is a color that I can use a color code and I'm going to clean my connectors here so obviously you can use also the fiber inspection probe so inspect and clean if required and I connect this then the other part as you can see should be connected in my parameter which is right there so I'm going to disconnect the probe there the first thing you will notice when I will connect this connector into the parameter that is that the unit will detect that we have a continuity. So I'm going to connect to the parameter there and you will also notice that we have an LED showing me where to connect. So we have the red here which is the source and the blue one which is the parameter. So as soon as I connect you hear the beep and we have a continuity. And once we have a continuity this animation will stop and I just have to go and press next. So what I'm doing there I'm making a reference, I'm, just, I'm verifying that this patch cord is reference and I'm also making an optical return loss reference. So I don't have to do the optical return loss anymore. Also what you notice on top is I validate this reference. So as you can see, my power levels here are good. So meaning that my connector here is probably pretty good. And I'm gonna, I can retry, but I can go to the next step. And as you can see, this animation is showing me that now I have to connect the second patch cord. So I'm going to connect my second patch cord there, which is in fact the patch cord I'm going to use on the other unit. So the red part should be in the parameter and I disconnect that part. Here we go. And connect the bulkhead. And connect the other extremity of that patch cord. like this and as you can see I still have this magic bit, magical bip. So frankly the fact that we have a sound now is very uh, helpful in the field. As soon as I have a continuity for instance between two units so I'm testing fiber one and my colleague is on the other side testing fiber one as well. If we are connected on the same link I will hear a validation. So that's, that's pretty uh, efficient. So now, as you can see, I have a continuity. Everything is connected. I just press next and here we go. So I still have also a validation. So it is uh, a test cord verification there. And if you press there, you see that we have a tolerance of 0.25.
So I got 0.21 here, so that's pretty good. Next step will be to use the other side. So I got my other unit here. I don't have to do anything on that unit. It's, it's really the remote one. And the unit is asking me to disconnect over there and just use the test cord and connect into my second unit. You hear the beep again? So that's, that's very useful, obviously. So now that the two units are connected, what I'm doing, I'm referencing the path here, the first patch cord and the second patch cord, as well as this connection. So the beauty with the one patch cord XFO methodology is that we have tested this connection after and uh, or let's say one patch cord with and two patch cords. So I know exactly what the loss of this connection is. So it will be removed from the test and therefore the measurement will be more accurate, obviously. So I'm going to set my reference. You see that I'm taking control of the remote unit. Here we go. Everything is good there. So the only thing I have to do now is go next. So you see my reference is good on both sides. And next over there. Now this unit will have to reference is op its optical return loss. So as you can see, I need to disconnect and connect directly to my power meter. So that's my, you see, once again, the beep, et voila. And now I set my reference, so this way everything is tested. So everything is good as well. You see the labels here, optical return loss is excellent. And I just press finish or next. So I can press next, for instance, and then the unit is asking me to test the device and the test. And now finish. And finish on the other side as well. So now I'm ready to test. I got my two patch cords reference and my reference has been validated, which is very important. In fact, most of the issues we had before uh, when testing was because the reference was not done properly. So I'm going to test here. I got a link with about uh, 150 meters, I guess, of fiber. So I'm going to test here. Oh, no, that's not the right connector. Here we go, that's the right one. So you see, this is really fiber one, this is fiber two. So this beep, as I said, is very useful. Also, you have an indication of the remote connection there. So as soon as you are connected, there is a continuity indication. I'm ready to test now. So I can press start on either units and I'm gonna see my results right away. As you can see, it was pretty fast. Uh, this measurement takes about four or five seconds both directions, measuring the distance. So I was saying 150 and it's 149.1. So it's very, very accurate as well. My loss here is point, uh, 0.73 and 2.4, which is in fact completely normal because I have a macro band over there. So the loss that we measure was 0.73 and 2.4 dB. And it's normal because we have a macro band in line. So this unit is detecting it. So as you can see, there is a kind of a information point there. So if I click on it, the unit is telling me indeed that there is a macro band. So it's not just a result, it's also a diagnostic. So there is a diagnostic. And if my result is bad, I will also, the unit will also tell me that, okay, there is something wrong with your reference. You should uh, retry it or reperform it. So it's very uh, easy to operate at that stage. From, from here, I got my first measurement. I can connect to the next one. So you can hear that I have disconnected and I go to the next one. And here we go, I'm connected again. Now I can test right away here and the unit is asking me to save. So uh, do you want to store the, the results or do you want to discard it? So I can say, yes, I'm saving it. And now I'm testing fiber three. Okay, and I can connect to the next one and press start again. And you'll see that the results is very uh, repeatable there. So there is no macro band on this link. 0 0.3, 0 0.31, you see, I can test it again and again. The result is very, very accurate and repeatable there. So now that I've tested four times, uh, I can go in results and manage my results. So I'm gonna go in this result menu there. So you see, I got my four measurements 
And my first measurement was showing me that I had a macro band right there. You see the macro band. So what I can do, I can fix it. So go in the field, uh, find out wh what's going on. So I can use my IOLM, for instance, to troubleshoot where the macro band would be. And I don't have to restart everything. I just select this, reconnect to my fiber one. and just test again. So the result on Fiber 1 will be modified. In this case, it's exactly the same value. So as you can see, it's very repeatable again. And I still have my macro band measurement there. So from here, I can obviously generate a report in PDF format. So I can change the name here. And you can see that it's going to be generated in PDF. So I can put two, three, four, okay, and I'm saving a report. There we go. So this way you don't have to, uh, to do anything else. You just select the report, you generate it on the platform, and you can send it right away. Uh, you can save it on a USB stick because we have two USB ports here that we can use to transfer the data. Let's say that uh, for instance, one of uh, the technicians in the field uh, discovered that, that there is something wrong. So instead of calling your colleague uh, with a phone, you can directly send a message like this. So for instance, here we had some uh, a chat that is already open, and I can send another uh, text message here saying that we are done. Enter. So I've sent that and you see that on the other unit, we see the message popping up there. Okay, so it's, it's very easy. It's a, a kind of text message, SMS that we can send over the fiber. In conclusion, this unit is faster than the 930. By the way, it is compatible with the 930, with the fast test. So if you, if you have a lot of FOT 930 in the field, you can connect those max, max testers directly to them and they will, they will work, okay? So they will be able to test, not as fast. You will not get uh, the optical return loss reference on the 930, but you will be able to run uh, a test uh, nonetheless.